Where we are right now in Hazelwood Green, this building, my father worked here. Guys would get up and they would put on their work clothes and get their little toolboxes and you know, their lunch bin and their hard hat and stand in front of the gate. And if you looked like you were ready to work, you got a job. This land, you know, there's a rich history. It's almost like holy ground. Hazelwood used to be Hazelwood, PA. Hazelwood had its own mayor, its own chamber of commerce, and Hazelwood really was instrumental in helping to build Pittsburgh. They finished the downsizing of the mill somewhere in the 90s. Back then, people weren't standing in line to develop this land. We were looking at 178 acres of unremediated land right in the middle of our, our community. We wanted to see it developed. Hazelwood has experienced this sort of generational economic and racial discrimination for so long. The things that should have been coming to our community just weren't getting there. We couldn't even get a water fountain on our playground. The people in the community really needed to get creative about putting their ideas together. And over the years, that's what the community has been doing. Thankfully, the foundations really came together with RIDC to purchase this land. And for them to do that, it said a lot about them listening to the community. I'm excited to see the opportunities for technology, cleaning up the environment, jobs. This was one of the best things that could have happened to this building. RIDC listened to the community when they came up with this design. Hazelwood Green could end up being an opportunity zone, a place where people who live in Hazelwood and move to Hazelwood could actually walk to where they work, you know, and, and be a part of something that is a movement that I think the world could really take notice of. This is how it can be done.